You are so cute. Look at this cute little puppy. Turn your face this way. <laughs> she can't even see. She has so much hair. So it's just going to get a haircut today. And I'm uh, going to make her beautiful. She's just going to get like a, a basic clip, just a short clip all over. All right, since she's getting clipped short, I want to take a little bit off before I wash her. She has quite a bit of hair. I just don't want to wash it all and dry it all. I mean, I will if I have to, but sometimes what I do, just to show you, you know, some tips, is I use a blade longer than the blade I'm going to be using. Sometimes I do use the same length of blade, but I just figured I'm going to try to use a little bit longer. Um, she's going to be getting a 4F um, strip, and I'm going to be using a 3 and three quarters, which is a little bit longer so that I can blow dry her and reclip her with the 4F without her being uneven. I did try a little bit here, so I'm just going to see if I can take some off just to help with the blow drying. Okay, it might be hard to keep her in the camera. So I did try a little bit there. And if it doesn't come off, it doesn't come off because it looks pretty dirty. She hasn't been groomed in about, I think it's been three months, which is too long. Yeah, Poodle should be groomed on a like four to eight weeks at the most, depending on the haircut that you give her. I do give her a short haircut, so she should have been in like a month ago. Hey, nice, sweetie. I do educate my clients, but sometimes they just can't. They just can't come in. They just can't do it. Yeah, it's more kind of dirty and sticky. So you know what? I'm not going to do it anymore. So I always like to try. Anyway, I got some hair off. I'm going to give her a bath first and dry her. And then it'll be nice and clean. And then the clipper will slide right through it. Right? Oh, you're so cute. There we go, baby. So I have the shampoo already made in my bottle. It's pre-mixed, concentrated shampoo with warm water. So I really don't need to wet her first as there's water already in the shampoo bottle. And uh, yeah, this is how I'm gonna wash her. Sometimes I wet the dog down. It depends on their hair. <laughs> don't come here, don't knock over the camera. It just depends, but I like to do it this way. Like just to save a, a step and you don't have to worry about wetting them down first. Yeah, so she's nice and clean, all laddered up. Go, going to uh, put a little conditioner on her top knot, her ears and her tail. Rinse her off and then blow dry her. So she was, you know, dirty. Most of it was dander, just tight fur. That's why the clipper wouldn't go through it. And I usually charge a little bit more for dogs that do not come on a regular basis as it is more work especially if I have to pre-clip their hair and do this and then blow drying but we'll see if it doesn't take me any longer sometimes I don't charge it just depends if this dog was not groomed in six months definitely would be a lot um, higher in the fee look at you oh you're so cute all right she's all washed now so what I'm hoping is that the dryer she has a lot of knots in her head I just noticed the dryer will loosen some of the knots so that I can clip her the length I want her to be. Otherwise, I'm going to have to clip her shorter if the knots are tighter to the skin. Some areas aren't too bad, but I didn't notice the back of her head is pretty bad. I'm going to have to cut that shorter. So, um, yeah, so I'll give it a try. I use my high velocity dryer on low for small dogs without a nozzle. The nozzle can be quite uh, terrorizing for them, and especially here, she's a young dog. I do see mats in her ears as well. So, anyway, yeah, oh, looks like you're more knotted than I thought. All right, let's give it a try.
there she's all dry and I saw a lot of knots especially in her head so I'm gonna have to see what I'm gonna do with that the dryer did bring them out a little bit from the skin but uh, yeah we'll see I don't know if a 4f will go through that but I'm gonna give it a try if not I have to go one blade shorter and if that doesn't work go another blade shorter so I always try the longest one first that I'm trying to use and if not I have to go shorter I'm always letting my clients know if the four doesn't go through the hair or whatever blade you're using, I have to go shorter. Just so that they're not surprised when they pick up their dog. Right? Alright, so I am going to try to clip her. I'm not going to brush her first because if the clipper goes through, it'll be easier for me to brush after I clip her. Um, now, each dog is individual on how I do the dog. If I wanted to, I could, you know, brush her fully out, get all the knots, and then clip her. Um, but that'll take extra work and extra cost as well. So the simplest way is to just clip it first, see if it goes through. If not, use a shorter blade because um, her owner doesn't want to pay extra. So we don't want to make it too expensive, do we? Yeah, so anyways, hopefully this will go through. If not, I'll just go a little bit shorter. And then I brush it afterwards. So this is a 4F. And before I use it, I do put on some oil, clipper oil. And then I just put it on each end of the blade here. Just to make sure it goes through the coat. And I'll wipe it off on the ends because that oil is going to go on to the coat. So I'll just wipe it off on the sides and let it run. And I'll move, move it. Just like that. There. Alrighty. So. Let's see what happens now. I know this is, she's really knotted like up on top here, up near the neck. Just different areas or different kinds of knots. So, again, she wants to smell. Stay honey, stay honey. Okay. All righty then. Let's see if it'll go through. See that's tighter over there. It's tight in certain areas. So what I'm going to do is start at the back of the neck. But I might have to go shorter there. So I'm going to just start further back where the knots aren't so tight. And every time you clip, you want to start from the neck. You want to go toward the tail. You don't want to reverse it. If you reverse your, your clipping, the hair will go shorter. If I was to reverse clip, the hair will be shorter, like a 5F or a 7F possibly. I mean, you could do it if you want to. But it's best to go this way. Reversing is a little bit harder on the legs. If you're not experienced, I suggest just going one way. You are. Okay, this will come out. Yeah, this is what you here. Just certain areas where it's really, really tight, right around here. That's where she wears her sweater. She has a sweater for the winter. It's always uh, from the, the friction of the sweater, they always get knotted. be able to do that. Let me just turn it around here and try see if I can get this off. She doesn't seem to like this near her head. Just because of the noise. Not used to it. Okay, no no no. Won't you be trying to bite me?
Let's just see if she'll let me clip this. And if there's, if there's just like certain areas where she's really tight and matted and the 4F doesn't go through, I will use my 5F like lightly or 7F lightly on those areas and then just blend them in because uh, you don't want to shave the whole dog like shorter if you don't need to. I'll get that afterwards. Oh, you look so cute. Oh, look at you, cute as you are. Yep, so what I'm going to do is go down each leg, go around the whole body. Then I have to do her, her groin and her pads. I've already clipped her nails. I clipped her nails and filed them. There wasn't much hair in her ears. So she didn't really need anything taken off inside her ears. A lot of dogs are sensitive with their front legs. They don't like it to be clipped. So you just have to hold them properly. And some dogs, you have to use scissors on their legs because they just absolutely won't let the clipper... No, 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 no. ...on them. You go from behind like this. It's okay. Fun. You can put the other foot down like this. This is a good trick. While you get the other one from the inside, it helps sometimes. Come here. And just hold the leg like the way that the dog moves with the leg. He's pulling it, or she's pulling it herself. So you never twist the leg in an unnatural way. But she's doing this herself. And I'll probably just have to use the scissors on the rest of it here. I know, I know. Don't like it, don't like it. See how hairy you are? You got a hairy little belly, don't you? Yeah, she got a hairy belly. And then while they're up, for the little dogs, it's easy to hold them up like this. And you can get down the insides of the legs. I'll get that area after. Up your leg, get the inside. Again, she's holding her leg up herself. See? <laughs> I'm not twisting it in a way she can't uh, do that, but she's holding it up herself. When she holds up the leg, you just touch this little, her little, what I call the knee here. You just lift it like that. Dogs lift it. They lift it themselves. See? Yes, we are. So what I do is I do a once over and then I do the finishing. So the, the once over, you know, is not obviously even yet. But what I can is she's like spinning in circles sometimes, right? And if it's not there, I have to get there with something else. Let me take this off. See if I can get any more at the back of your neck there. That's yeah. see now I'm going the opposite way behind your neck because it's knotted there. And instead of switching to the 5F, I would just turn or just use it the opposite direction. And you don't need to switch the blades. But if it doesn't come off like that, come here baby. 
then I will have to switch the blades. Yeah, that's really knotted here. I'll show you. Yeah, so behind this ear is really knotted. It's hard to see right here, but this is all a big knot, which I'm probably going to have to take a really close blade to get that off. Right? And probably the other ear as well. Yeah, look at this big chunk here. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do her pads and her groin and uh, behind her ears possibly with this clipper. This is a adjustable clipper. It goes from, I believe, 9 or, yeah, probably 9, 8 till 40. Anyway, it's pretty close when it's on the end here. So I'm going to do her pads and I'm going to change it to a 30 because sometimes 40 might be too close. The dog is sensitive. So what I do is I just um, clip make the whole pads out here. All right, baby. Take all of that hair off that's in between the pads. Oh, come here, baby. Okay. Oh. <laughs> come here, stay still. Okay, she wants to sit down. Okay, you want to sit down? Okay, you sit down and then I'll move the camera. Okay. Move your tail. You'll be having a bald tail. Yeah, so basically like that. Come here. As soon as it touches, it sits down. So I just clean out on um clean out the pads on all four feet all our pads are done i'm just going to make this a little bit longer because i'm going to do the groin and i don't want her to uh, you know get a rash or anything like that sometimes when they go too close here they want to you know scratch it and it's itchy so it's better to not go too close if you don't have to. There's a knot there. This is probably a number of 15 that I'm using. Usually it's best to use a 10. So what I do is hold the tail, lift the leg. Just using gentle strokes. Turn her around. There I go, do the same thing. Hold the tail, lift the leg. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like. There, all nice and clean in here. Can take a little bit off down here on the insides of the legs. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is just trim around her feet. She's not getting poodle feet and probably couldn't do it anyways because she doesn't like her feet to be touched as you can see. So I just try to be quick because I can. Oh, no. Sometimes you make noises, they look at you and they stop. Now the dog on the floor is trying to jump on me. It helps. <laughs> and there's some long hair on the legs. Come here. No, 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 no. See, she doesn't like that. Oh, okay, now you're going to cry. Oh, boy. You got knots under your armpits. Very sensitive on her arms. So sensitive. I wonder why, especially these little dogs. So I just go from behind them. You always gotta try just different angles of how um, to hold the dog's legs. And hopefully you can see this. I'm doing the underarms here. She has some knots. I'm just using my scissors because she probably wouldn't let me get in there with the clippers anyways. Just cutting them off. I'm just pulling the skin, like twisting the skin outwards or inwards to where I'm working. 
So she's okay when I hold her like this. So I might as well just get the hairs that I see. Well, that's a better. Good girl. So I'll do that to the other side as well. Good girl. And I'm going to be trimming all her feet. So now is when I do the brushing. You notice I never brushed before. So once I clip, then I brush. I'm going to do the feet. So i got to brush because if I don't brush, there'll be hair sticking out all over the place. And she's pretty good with her, her back legs. And now is the time to see all this hair that I missed with the clippers. Get off that for now and I will be going up over her again at the very, very end. Now I haven't even brushed the tail yet, so... Are you okay with the tail brushing? Yeah, your tail is not knotted, so that's a good thing. And, yep, yeah, we'll have to trim with tushy. I like to use the scissors around here so I don't go too close because if they go home and start, you know, rubbing themselves on the carpet, the owner is not going to be happy. They can give themselves a rash and then they'll be calling you, what to do to my dog? So I like to use the scissors. There's a knot in the tail right here. So I, I like to go a little bit higher on the tail. When you put the tail down, you don't want, you know, anything catching on to the tail. Now this is a poodle. She has a long tail. So all dogs I do this with anyways, even if it's not a poodle. Just so it's more cleaner. And the tail. Oh, she's so good with the tail. What I do is I comb it down. I felt a knot. I'm going to have to grab that. And then just trim it shorter. Yep, there is actually two knots right in there. I'm just going to cut those right out. There. Since this dog doesn't get groomed often, it's best to you know, cut it shorter to last longer. No use leaving it too long when it's just going to get matted again. notifications there is that a cute tail <laughs> did I miss anything <laughs> there we go he's a cute looking at me what's next what's next all right for the head since she's very mat matted on the back there I'm just gonna trim her up first because uh, I just want to make it shorter and then I'll brush it no use me brushing you know all those knots and I'm just gonna take my clipper just right in the corners of the eyes here to get that bulk off there oh you can see now mm-hmm let me just trim the little bit by the eyes here. There. Okay, we'll come back to that. All right, since she's really knotted back here, I'm going to cut it pretty short and then uh, see what I can do with it. So let's have a look. She has a lot of hair, nice, nice hair. She would look really pretty if she was maintained really well. Now I'm gonna have to shave that. Yeah, that's too close. So I'm making her head round. 
little bitches. Just don't like your front legs to be touched, huh? Yeah, I know. Everybody's got their issues. <laughs> I'm actually going to use the number four on her face. Oh, it's too knotted there. And actually, I shouldn't be using my good scissors on cutting through knots. I usually use different scissors. So don't do what I do. <laughs> See, the owner doesn't want her nose shaved like a poodle, but she wants it short. So I will trim it short, but not shaved. All right, yeah, those knots are really bad. I don't think I'll be brushing through that anytime soon. I might just actually, instead of using the clipper, just take them off with my scissors. Anyway, these scissors are great for everything. Yeah, it's a big knot. I don't think she's getting brushed at home or brushed properly. What a good girl you are. What a good girl. Yes, good girl. No. It's funny, she doesn't want to sit the other way. Like, if I turn her around so you can see, she won't do it. <laughs> so we'll turn her this way. Anyway, there's a big, huge knot right here. She's going to look funny, but I have to use these clippers. Like, it's, like, huge. How am I going to get this out? Hmm? Yeah, that will just hurt. That will hurt a lot. You know what? It's only hair and it goes back. And it doesn't look too bad. Okay, you're too close, baby. You're too close. Okay, let's have a look. Almost like a cocker spaniel ear where I shaved the top. Let's see if I can brush this a little bit. Just going gently. Yep, so her head is not going to look the best. So, what I'm doing is I'm trimming the ears pretty short because she has a lot of knots on the ends of your ears and i really don't want to brush that out too much as they can um, their ends of the ears can bleed and especially if they shake their head they get hematomas so i just cut out a lot of the uh, knots that were on the ends and then i'm just going to blend it up to uh, make it look like a cute little puppy ears so i'll do the same to the other ear yeah so she's got a lot of knots on the ends of her ears so what I'm doing is I'm just I'm just trimming them off and I'm trimming her ears short so I don't have to worry about brushing all that out. I don't want to hurt her. There's a big one there. You see this one? A huge one. Just gonna make sure I know where the ear flap is. Actually, I have to shave this out. It's kind of big. I know. Just wait. Sorry. There we go. Lots and lots in this little dog. Lots and lots. So her ears will look cute and short afterwards. So I'll just brush that out and then just trim them up. Alright, so for the head, 
I'm just going to use my curved shears and just trim a little round head here. I'm going to make it short so it's easier for the owner to care for and to blend in, you know, the back of the head where I've cut all those knots off. The curved uh, shears are great for doing, you know, top knots, anything round on a dog, especially poodles. Let's comb everything forward and take my straight shears. So what I did is just use the like thinning shears on her face. Like I used a four. The owner just wants like a poodle face but shorter, not like a teddy bear's face necessarily. So what I do now is I just go over her whole body with the scissors to make her look more polished. Make sure I didn't miss any like hairs, you know, that stick out. And uh, yeah, anyway, she looks pretty cute considering what she looked like when she came in. Look at this. Is that cute or what? Oh, she is so cute. So I will go over her once I turn off the camera so I can see better because otherwise I'll just put my head like in the way of the camera. So if you see any stick outs, don't worry. I'll get that later. So hopefully you liked uh, my video. You learned something about grooming poodles, dogs in general. There. Uh, I think she looks pretty good. I don't know about these legs because she's going to fight, but look at her. She's staying still right now. No, for a second. No, she's pulling me. Yeah, so, <laughs> what do you think? She's cute. She's all right. At least I didn't have to shave her whole head and she's still got a little bit of hair there. At least she was good for the head anyways, but I think that's cute and more manageable now for the owner. Hey, you, 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 you. Look over there. Look over there. There we go.